Hey, what's happening? You're here with your least favorite critic, Callis. I got these fucking worst movies of 2016. And yeah, we ain't had time, so we can't do it as a group. So stop bitching. Just listen or get the fuck out. <laughs> don't have time to do the best movies of 2016 so i'm gonna just fire off some titles and if you agree with me you agree with me if you don't you don't uh moonlight captain america civil war uh rogue one a star wars story zootopia 10 cloverfield lane the witch barber shop the next cut yes you heard me right barber shop the next cut the revenant and my personal favorite or the one that i thought was the best birth of a nation i mean i guess i could throw dr strange in there because we're such marvel dick riders so i don't want to fuck up our previous reputation but it's not on my list we're gonna keep this short and quick you don't have to agree with me uh the criteria is basically it must have been a movie that we reviewed as a channel so that cuts out like 99 percent of the movies that drop uh to be lower on the list it doesn't really have to be worse than the previous entry but it just had to be a bigger disappointment or letdown so a movie with fucking 200 million dollars behind it is gonna be much bigger disappointment than a movie with like a fucking fifty thousand dollar budget keep that in mind these are all my personal opinions not all the critics feel the same way and not all the critics have seen all the movies these aren't going to be the worst 10 because like i said we haven't seen a lot of the movies we didn't review as many as we should have but these are the ones that we reviewed as a channel and in my order starting off with number 10 warcraft this movie was a fucking huge letdown i actually thought it was all right it had some interesting things in it the cgi was amazing the world building was actually pretty decent it actually got me interested in warcraft not enough to play the game not enough to actually want a sequel but it piqued my interest but it was just too much of a flop especially here in the u.s this shit had mad money behind it and it got fucking shitted on by critics and the box office dollar wasn't great either the story was kind of convoluted it gave you a little aspects of what you wanted and then completely glossed over certain things that you wanted to see number nine the legend of tarzan yo this shit was the legend of boredom i don't even care was it a good movie nah not really it was decent at best had kind of good performances uh samuel l jackson was the highlight in a tarzan movie that shows you some bad signs right there the villain was pretty dumb cgi was fucking terrible it was definitely a, another movie with the white savior complex which is getting all too old in hollywood as far as what i've heard it stayed way too close to the books way too true to the books uh that shit is outdated by now we need to get a new adaptation yeah this shit wasn't uh jungle book tarzan shit but we weren't expecting that and it was still let down so fuck out of here number eight ghostbusters was it horrible nah don't let everybody fucking feed that shit down your throat oh it was so bad it's so much worse nah it wasn't let me tell you something it's just like a white dude that fucking starts hating black people because his girls got fucked by some black dudes some people hated on this movie just because it shitted on male characters so was it really bad no it just hit something that was close to them so now they're gonna oh fuck that movie Nah, it wasn't that bad, it wasn't horrible. Who gives a fuck if it was demeaning to men? Fucking women have been taking this L for long enough. Let them get a win in there. Number seven, The Secret Life of Pets. Wow, this was a failure at a Toy Story movie. Of course, you're gonna wanna go back to one of the most successful animated franchises of all time, but this shit was a poor attempt to duplicate it. Uh, performances were pretty whack. Kevin Hart wasn't that funny, but he was probably the highlight of the film which is fucking embarrassing. Just almost nothing about this film was good in the least. Yeah, there was some funny cliches with, about fucking pets and how they act when their humans aren't around or when they think nobody's watching, but that shit got played out quick. Secret Life of Pets, it was almost abysmal for me to watch that shit, but I had to get through to review it. Number six, Purge Election Year. So continuing on with mediocre Purge movies that keep getting bank at the box office for some reason, this definitely followed suit. It was a lot worse than two, but it might have been on par with one. The societal commentary of the movie was pretty whack. 
If you haven't seen our review, we definitely thought that shit was mad racist, super stereotypical, especially for black people and Latinos. People want to say, oh, the whites were demonized and you're a fucking idiot. It basically seemed like the screenwriters and the director had never really met a black person in their life. They just got some Uncle Tom motherfucker to play the part. Overall, just not a good movie. But I'll say this again, The Purge is much better suited for a series something like a netflix series something like a walking dead series this should not be a movie franchise and i think it would even be more successful as a tv franchise you could have each episode follow a different family or each episode follow a different part of the country or each season do one of those things this has all the makings to be a huge TV show, but nah, they're gonna keep putting out mediocre movies. Oh, here, we're gonna front like it's a horror movie, but in reality, this shit ain't horror. It's dumb. It's, the story's not really that good. There's almost no scares. If there's any scares, it's jump scares, which are the weakest kind. Just nah, it's, it's not panning out. Number five, Independence Day Resurgence. So I personally didn't think this movie was that bad until I rewatched the first one and I was like, damn, this shit is fucking garbage. We've come so far with CGI, it basically relied on that technology to further the movie, which is never a good sign. If you're using technology to further the plot, you're already going down the wrong path. Again, it was way worse than the original. There was no quotable lines like in the original. It was a poor attempt to duplicate what the first one did. It almost had no original ideas except for at the end with that little fucking, oh, there's so many more races and we're getting extinct and I'm the only thing that can help you survive. But that shit was corny as fuck. Characters were corny. The way they switched up the whole shit and made that dude gay out of fucking nowhere was just like, come on, pandering to the motherfucking max. Yeah, that shit was disappointing. Some of the CGI spectacle was all right, but what do you expect? Number four, Suicide Squad. Oh, I had you DC guys shook, didn't I? You thought this shit was gonna be lower on the list. Well, there's still room. We got Batman v Superman. So this was the third DCU movie. DCEU, not DCU. And uh, they've had so many examples of how to do things right and what not to do wrong, not just from the DCEU movies, but from the Marvel movies, like fucking 13 of them. Yeah, people wanna say, oh, it's only their third one, you should give them some time. No, fuck that. They've had mad examples of what to do and what not to do, and they still can't learn their fucking lesson. They can't get it right. They had shitty ass characters. Fucking Killer Croc was one of the wackest things I've ever seen in a superhero movie. This shit was fucking Purge Election Year all over again. This motherfucker wants BET get the fuck out of here the story was so convoluted it was hard to know what's going on unless you really really care about the DCU and you've read all these different rumors of how shit connects the Batman cameos were all right just because it was Batman if it would have been any other character it would have been whack the villain was one of the worst superhero villains in the fucking maybe history of superhero villains shit if you think marvel villains are trash holy fuck enchantress was 10 times that people want to hate on jared leto's joker i ain't one of them i i kind of felt it i know he got the short stick uh when it came to the final cut that was released in theaters i know he had tons of other footage that didn't make it in there i i liked what i saw was it fucking Heath Ledger? No, it wasn't Heath Ledger. But let the man do his thing. It wasn't garbage. People want to say it's garbage. It wasn't. It's one of the better things about the movie. Harley Quinn was a high point, but it just couldn't save it. Overall, a bad movie. DCEU people want to say that shit was great. Some people want to say it's a masterpiece. You're a fucking idiot. Objectively, not even subjective. Number three, Batman v Superman. Oh, you guys thought this was going to be number one, didn't you? These big Marvel dick riders over here, you thought we were gonna put this shit at number one. No, believe me, there's two movies that I thought were way worse, but we'll get to those. Batman v Superman had everything go for it. Had max potential to be one of the best superhero movies of all time. Had probably the three most notable superheroes to ever exist. Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman might be under Spider-Man, but Batman and Superman, undisputable, the most popular superheroes ever. And they still managed to fuck this up. That's why it's number three. Was it worse than every movie I've listed so far? Nah, but it was the biggest fucking disappointment out of every movie. They had such a big budget behind this. They had so many chances to recut this and guess the final cut might've been better, but that shit was not what Warner Bros put out in the theater. 
and to be honest that's their fault too bad you can take this l i don't give a fuck about the extended cut that's cool that's just for the fans that's not for the moviegoers josh whedon said there was additional cuts for avengers that would have been a lot better did we ever get them no i mean as a fan would i like to see them yes i would have but i still couldn't have said oh it was so much better because fuck it it didn't come out in the theater that's not what the general 99 percent of moviegoers are gonna see so yes overall this was a fat fucking l trash ass movie if you want to see an in-depth review peep our review that was the first thing we ever put out overall it was it was just a train wreck number two x-men apocalypse i really don't know what's worse x-men origins wolverine or this movie holy fuck i can't even believe how much i dislike this movie i wanted to walk out almost the whole way through and that's coming from a big ass marvel fan Am I the biggest fan in the Explicit Crew? Nah, Mooks is, but he hated that shit too. Peep the review. Overall, there was almost no good performances in it. Of course, James McAvoy as Professor X and Michael Fassbender as Magneto were all right. Mystique, AKA Jennifer Lawrence, mailed her performance in with no return address. Her performance was less convincing than Donald Trump saying he loves Mexicans. I love the Mexican people. I love the spirit of the Mexican people. I love the Mexican people. I'm telling you, that shit was fucking garbage. Bring back the old mystique and fucking say it's Jennifer Lawrence. I don't even care. She doesn't want to be in this franchise anymore, and it was apparent. And it brought the movie down because they tried to center it around her. Yes, people like that fucking Quicksilver scene. That shit is getting way corny. The first one was all right in um, Days of Future Past. This one wasn't. This shit was mad corny, unrealistic. He might as well ended the whole movie. Apocalypse was not threatening. He was a bitch boy. Might as well give the part to somebody else. You should have made him CGI. You shouldn't have made him fucking five foot five and have Magneto being taller than him. Get the fuck out of here with that. Almost nothing in that movie made sense. They just put it together for I don't know what reason because they fucking destroyed one of the best villains that the X-Men franchise has besides Onslaught. But I think he's even above Onslaught as far as popularity and notoriety. So they basically just wasted this one. You might as well give the rights back to Marvel. But at this point, the name is so tarnished that I don't even really want it back in Marvel. Number one, Ninja Turtles stay in the motherfucking shadows. This shit was dog shit. I wanted to walk out the whole time. I have almost nothing positive to say about this movie. Was it the worst movie of the year? No, but it was for me. I couldn't stand it. I thought it was the corniest shit I've almost ever seen in a blockbuster movie. I want to know what the audience is or who this is for. What species wants this fucking movie? Who asked for a live action version of the Ninja motherfucking Turtles? I don't know who pitched it. I don't know who wanted it. Michael bay catch a dick literally i can't say one positive thing about this movie other than whoever made it is probably rich as fuck and after this movie i hope they aren't i just want to know did any ninja turtle fans from back in the day really feel this movie because the first one was way better than me i'm not a huge ninja turtles fan i like the old movies but this shit is uncalled for there's no need for it it's a waste of money I mean, it, it's a, I don't even know. I don't know what to fucking say. I don't know who wants this movie or who liked this movie or who's trying to get this shit in Redbox. Fuck out of here. So overall, people need to stop bitching at one of the worst movie years. Fuck out of here, yo. There was plenty of good movies and there was plenty of disappointing movies. Are you a DC fan and you're like, oh, it's the worst movie? Yeah, okay, then you should because those movies were fucking trash that the DCEU put out. Other than that, it was a fairly average year for movies. There was some shitty ones. There were some good ones. Overall, get over it. Realize that every year has some shitty movies. Every year has some good movies. But I will admit that 2017 is looking a lot nicer, especially if you're in the superhero genre. Make sure to catch our hate mail episode that's coming out tomorrow. One of the most fun and funniest things to film as a group this shit is fucking hilarious you guys get to see some of the shit that people try to say to us uh because they're keyboard warriors you gotta peep it regardless of the runtime it'll probably be around an hour if you gotta watch it in multiple sittings then do that but th it's gonna be hilarious you're gonna love it i know we loved it and we'll catch you next time explicit critics how the 